Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday, chatting over new makeup releases and my thoughts on them and if I'm planning to pick them up or pass over them. I will link my playlist down below and I will also link the community playlist, which I started so any creator who makes a style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist if you want to see what a bunch of different creators are thinking about all of these different releases. But I do have a lot to chat about this week, so let me go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I did want to say I just got done doing a live chat. I do a live chat every single Tuesday on my channel and sometimes they're a little bit more in the morning, sometimes they're kind of in the evening, but today I did more of like an early afternoon one and I got ready in the live chat. So I will link it down below if you want to see how I got to this look. It was just like a pretty simple one since it's hard enough for me to do my makeup on camera, but especially doing it while having a live chat where it's like you feel like you don't really have a break. I don't like you have to constantly keep going and keep talking and everything. It's a little bit challenging, but I will link it. And of course, I always list out all of the makeup that I'm wearing too, but I was wearing this big um, fuzzy sweater and then I got done and I was like, kind of don't want to take the sweater off. So I'm just going to keep rolling with it. It did snow last night in Iowa where we live. There, I'm looking outside, there is snow on the ground, which is great. Um, hmm. Snow in October really makes me feel a certain kind of way. Like, I know that it's going to snow. I know that we're going to have snow probably in November, for sure in December, for sure in January, most likely in February, sometimes in March. But, like, October and March, are, I just don't really want to see snow. April, definitely I don't want to see snow. October snow really gets you in the feels. This is from Schoolhouse Designs. I know I always get asked when I wear it. And um, I found them through Instagram, but I've been trying to link this sweater whenever I wear it. And uh, I think it's just been out of stock. So if it's available, I will link it. Um, like I always try to link anything that I'm wearing. Kick it off. Normally I kick it off with ColourPop. And I was very confused because I was getting tagged on Instagram of uh, like a ColourPop gif that they put up i'll put their instagram post right here so you can see what i mean and i was like wait ColourPop's not coming out with any new releases this week i am a little confused i don't know quite what to do but the sneaky dogs ColourPop, they did actually release some new products on the ulta beauty website so i feel like they were trying to like get around something there but they actually have launched new items and new palettes on the Ulta Beauty site. I think that these are maybe exclusive to Ulta Beauty. Um, the Disney collection has also launched over at Ulta so if you were interested in like the Midnight Masquerade palette or any of the products that came out with the new Disney designer collection but you wanted to see if they'd be available at Ulta, they are available there now. Um, so they came out with the Night Owl Pressed Powder Palette, also the Lovebird Pressed Powder Palette, and the Birds of Paradise Pressed Powder Palette. These are all $12. There are also some cheek duos, also lip duos that are available. Oh, I know I was getting some tags on these over, um, also on Twitter, and people asked me if I was interested in these palettes. So I will link these to Ulta down below. Um, I don't know if any of them really catch my attention like right away to the point where I'm like, oh, I think I really need to look closer at that. I think I really need that. I actually tried to purchase the ColourPop Smoke Show palette. It was last Friday. I finally had some time. I sat down. I was like, I'm going to buy this palette. It's going to be great. And I couldn't. <laughs> like I put it in my bag on the ColourPop website. I went to check out and I have an account with ColourPop with all my information in there and whatnot. So I went to log in and it said password incorrect. And I'm like, no, it's not. So I enter it again. It tells me it's incorrect. I'm like, okay. So then I hit um, like reset my password, like forgot my password or whatnot. And it says, okay, type in your email address. So I type it in. It says there's no email on file. And I'm like, Yes, there is, and I get emails from you every single day. I, like, it's pretty much daily that ColourPop sends an email. And they send, because I had the smoke show in my cart, I keep getting emails like, don't forget your smoke show, don't forget your smoke show. I'm like, stop. Okay. And so then I'm like, fine, maybe I'll just make a whole new account, and that will work, and then I can check out. So I go through and I try to make an account, and guess what it tells me? I can't make a new account because that email address is already on file. I'm like... 
okay so and that was just that was like how my Friday went. It was just that kind of stuff all day long. I was like, never mind. Maybe I'm just not supposed to get the palette. I don't know. So I still haven't purchased the smoke show. I haven't tried to get back into my ColourPop account. I don't really know what's going on there. Um, but that was super duper frustrating. But if I'm purchasing it from ColourPop, it is still going to be the smoke show palette. Maybe I'll get it at some point. Like these other ones are pretty. This pink one, it does look really pretty, but just not anything enough that I'm like, woo, woo type of Thing. and I did put up my uh, impulse buying video um, the second episode in my mindset and makeup series and I have an episode all about impulse buying and how I stopped buying so much and really one of the things is what I say every single week in the will I buy it video if something doesn't turn my attention right away if something doesn't give me the double take I just need to move on I just need to let it go because there's always so much makeup coming out um, I really need to take the time to explore the things that really give me that excited feeling and then decide from there if I'm going to purchase them. If it doesn't give me that feeling, I just need to move along. So um, I don't think I'll be getting any of those, but ColourPop did have some new releases this week. I feel like they were just trying to trick us a little bit there. Okay, and then the other big news, of course, is that um, Anastasia and Norbina are releasing more palettes. But I feel like I have a handful of thoughts on this situation so I actually saw last week on Twitter someone had put out a tweet basically just saying like what's going on with Anastasia like all of these new palettes and whatnot and Norvina who is Anastasia's daughter and like is involved in the company said uh, in there that Norvina was essentially supposed to be like a separate brand from Anastasia like almost like Anastasia was going to have like this sister brand and have it be Norvina's brand and Norvina's brand was going to be kind of have like a different like aesthetic and a different vibe than Anastasia Beverly Hills which to me makes sense um like I get it I understand having a different direction uh you know I can understand having the Anastasia palettes and them having their own kind of theme and kind of branding but to me I could understand it and I could I can see the difference between like the Anastasia releases and then the Norvina collection releases I do see a difference but I don't think that it was like I don't understand where was the announcement of saying you know we're developing a new brand under the Anastasia line and I'm so excited I'm gonna you know be the head of that like I don't understand where that was I truly just saw it in a tweet that was then getting like retweeted and stuff and I'm like what like, and but at the same time I'm like okay I like this more than just thinking that Anastasia as a whole is just releasing a whole bunch of stuff at one time it makes sense to me if there's like a sister brand involved here and that they're having a bunch of releases but it's still it just it just was confusing to me that that wasn't actually said that way and then Norvina even said to in another tweet that her palettes were supposed to be spread out more instead of being released so closely like literally like weeks apart from one another they were supposed to be more spread out but something happened there and that's why they released so much at once so I just wish that would have been communicated a little bit better because I truly didn't I didn't take it that way when the first palettes were starting to come out I wasn't like oh a new brand is launching just think if that would have been relayed a like a little bit more clearer to the audience i don't know not saying that sh they, there wouldn't have been as much backlash as i feel like anastasia has gotten but maybe it would have helped a little bit i don't know so um anyways they're releasing these new mini palettes and these are a part of the and see because it kept saying the norvina collection even this says norvina collection that just that doesn't make me think that it's a new brand it makes me think that it's uh, just a new collaboration within Anastasia. I don't know, the whole thing honestly confuses me. Um, but they're coming up these mini palettes. We have the Mini Pro Pigment Volume 1 and the uh, Palette 2 in minis. These are each going to be $29. So, um, you know, they're just like smaller condensed versions of the larger Anastasia Norvina palettes. And they're 9 pan palettes. I'm all for minis. Like, I enjoy... I enjoy mini palettes, I enjoy mini skincare, I love mini lip products, like I'm just a fan of minis. I like to purchase, like I, I'm, I'm someone who I don't mind spending less money but getting a smaller product because maybe I'll actually go through it, maybe I'll be able to try a product and realize maybe I don't love it if I would have purchased the full size, it would have been a little bit wasteful and all of that. So 
Um, I'm, I'm down for having minis. I will say though, I think that I would have been pretty upset because I kind of considered purchasing the volume one palette, which was a little bit more, um, kind of had more of those purple tones in there. And I was excited to see like something new and different from Anastasia. I thought it was cool. I thought all of the marketing and the promos and everything was super neat. Um, but it was a bigger palette and it was, I think they're $60 for the full sizes. And I was like, you know, so I ended up talking myself out of it. I think I just would have been really angry if I would have purchased a bigger palette and then these minis came out. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I I think I would have been just because they're again, they're so soon to one another. I think that that maybe would have made me a little bit flustered if I would have purchased a bigger one, but I think this is also a nice thing if you were eyeing the bigger palettes, but maybe you're like me and you don't like the bigger palettes or the price range was a little bit too high for you. Now you have these minis that you can consider and um, I like that they're just the nine pans. I think nine pans are great for eyeshadow palettes. That's kind of like one of my sweet spots. A couple weeks ago, I touched on the Morphe and James Charles palette and how they came out with a mini, but it's literally the exact same palette. It's just a smaller size. And I was saying, I just wasn't really quite sure of that. I like doing this route versus that, where it's not just the exact same palette, just a smaller size. That to me just still doesn't really make a ton of sense. What I was saying is that, you know, maybe he could have chose his favorite colors or its most used color or even made multiples of minis of that palette with perhaps nine shades. I think I even said that in the Will I Buy It video and I felt like that would have made more sense than literally just having the same palette in a different size. So I like that that's the route that Norvina took with these mini palettes. Um, so again, like I said, I, I like the nine pans. I like the price on these um, more too. I don't know looking at them if I feel a strong pull to the sh the shade selection in each. I would look at the volume one versus volume two because again the volume one is what called me regardless but um, there are some pretty shades in there but there's a lot of eyeshadow palettes right now that are calling my attention even more so even though I like it and I, I like having this option here um, but I think that I'm going to try to stay firm and purchase some of the other palettes that I've been talking about that have been catching my attention a little bit more. But I like that these are, I don't know, I like mini stuff. I do. Um, but it's also important not to just purchase something just because it's a mini um, and, and all of that. Another thing too that I'm curious about and I feel like maybe a will I buy it is a good time to have the discussion is I'm seeing a lot especially on like the will I buy it in particular, a lot of comments of people saying things like everything's already been done in the beauty industry, right? Like what's the point? Like why are brands even putting more things out or, you know, trends are just being recycled or kind of the underlying question is to me is what I'm taking away reading the comments is like everything's already been done. Why is more new stuff still coming out? And I almost kind of, I've, been playing back and forth of even doing a whole separate video on it and kind of getting into that a little bit more because I'm not sure I fully understand what that means because I think about it like the beauty industry has been around for such a long time right Just coming out with a liquid foundation is not a new thing but it's been coming around for years and years and decades and I mean so I, I don't know if I really understand the question also think about it book wise I'm I'm also an author I'm about to launch a new book which is very exciting for me but my book kind of the underlying theme is a girl who's engaged and she's not sure she wants to be married and her friends are fighting and she's you know dealing with a bunch of work stuff that is not a new concept that's not a new story and there's books out there like that so I think I guess if I just looked at my books as like why am I even writing this this has already been done what's the point for movies like rom-coms and horror movies a lot of what's going on has already been done or follows the same plot point or you know so on and so forth I mean even writing books you learn in school that you know you have your beginning and you have the 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 peak of the story of what's going on you have a resolution i mean that's the way that your story is outlined and that's what a lot of people follow these days but i guess i just don't understand the everything's already been done why is there more stuff coming out in beauty are we expecting the beauty industry to just stop are we expecting makeup to just stop 
I guess I don't know and I'm just curious I'm this this is a genuine question and I'm not trying to be rude to anyone who has posed that question I think about Anastasia and Norvina specifically because I feel like they're just getting like drugged through the mud at this moment and I'm not sure I really understand why I'm someone too myself who I've compared Anastasia and Colourpop I've done this before in videos and I see other people it's kind of like the main argument that I see a lot these days is like Colourpop can release a bunch of things because they're affordable. Anastasia can't release a lot of things because they're not affordable. And you know for me yes it's easier to purchase more from Colourpop because they are more affordable. It's easier for me to not spend a ton of money on them. But the concept I guess to me is the same. They're just they're again they're two brands that release you know Colourpop typically has a new release every single Friday. So I don't know I'm just curious let me know if you would want like a full dedicated video talking all about this if you have comments and feedback I would love to know like of course please keep it kind and like be kind to one another and everything but it's just a it's just a true question that I have but also we're not done talking about Anastasia yet because they are also coming out with lashes now we've known the lashes are coming for a while I think I've touched about this like a couple months ago actually in a will I bite video it kind of got like it was like a sneak peek that lashes were coming but they are going to be available now October 31st these are going to be $12 each it's honestly not as much as I would have expected from the lashes even like the pure lashes that I really enjoyed those are $14 um I think the ColourPop lashes that they just came out with are around $8, so I don't think that's a terrible price point for the lashes. They have uh, six different styles. These are synthetic, um, cruelty-free lashes. Uh, let's see. Oh, there are going to be two different lash styles that are an ABH website exclusive. Otherwise, they will also be available at Sephora. Um, I have not, I, f I don't have much of a voice. I was at the Green Bay uh, Chiefs game Sunday night. So I do not have a lot of a voice going on. So if it goes in and out, that is why. I've been wearing false lashes as much recently, which also means that I'm not purchasing false lashes as much as I normally do. Um, really, I think the, the, the lash that kind of has me the most interested is Domina, I think is the name of that one. Um, that one to me looks like one that I would like maybe wear the style, but I did just get some new ones from ColourPop sent over to me. I'm still trying them out to review. Again, I do still like my pure lashes. I have a couple in my lash drawer, so probably going to skip on these for right now. Um, we'll be excited to get the reviews and everything, but I'm just not wearing lashes as much, so it doesn't really make uh, a lot of sense to be purchasing a bunch at this time. But of course, I just love to, to get your thoughts on everything in general because I think I was feeling a certain way about Anastasia for a while too and then when I actually like stepped back and looked at it I was like I don't know I feel like I was kind of being unfair and I don't know so that's why I just wanted to open up that discussion and see what you guys have to say so it has been announced uh that the Sephora VIB sale or whatever they call it these days I feel like there's always a different name for it that is kicking off very soon so this is called their holiday bonus event Okay, so for Rouge, it's going to be November 1st through 11th at 20% off. Uh, VIB is going to be November 7th through the 11th, 15% off. Uh, Beauty Insider is going to be November 7th through 11th, 10% off. Uh, would you guys want to see a video on Sephora recommendations? I feel like Sephora is doing uh, so many sales these days that I've done a lot of these videos. I don't know if they're super repetitive. I don't know if you guys have different ideas of like different styles of the video that you would like to see. Just let me know or do you even want to see one in general? I don't know. But holler at me and let me know if you'd want to see a video uh, for the sale that is starting what November 1st is Friday. So starting this Friday. That's wild. Um, so I probably wouldn't have that video up until Sunday regardless, but I'd love to know your thoughts if you want that. Um, I do have quite a few things in my Sephora cart. Like I said, there's been some eyeshadow palettes that I've been interested in grabbing. Uh, so I I'm probably going to pick up a few things from the sale. So again, if you'd want to see a haul and that sort of thing, but I feel like I've been working on my cart for a while now. And um, there's a few things in there that I'm interested in. So speaking of minis and also ColourPop, this is one of their sister brands, but Soulbody has released a minis of their glow oils and their dry oils, which again, I think minis are great, especially for a product like this. I, th I just feel like it's really hard to probably go through one of those big old bottles of this. So again, I'm, 
I, I enjoy seeing that minis are here. These are going to be $10 each or you can buy in a bundle with two minis and a brush for $28. These aren't products that I use a ton. I had a few sent over me from ColourPop that I tried out and while I think it's like a fine product, I just don't reach for those types of products enough. And especially as, like I said, the snow is already falling here in Iowa. Um, it's probably going to be a bunch of sweaters from here on out for me and me just talking about how cold I am. Then this eyeshadow palette, this is really pretty when I was getting some tags on this. I, it did catch my attention pretty hard. This is um, the Rosé All Play Eyeshadow Bouquet Eyeshadow Palette by Physicians Formula. <laughs> Okay, uh, I does say it's going to be in stores only at CVS, which is kind of sad to me because we do not have a CVS in our new town, and I love CVS. Like, we we didn't really have, I think maybe there was like one CVS in the Des Moines area, and it was like way far from where I lived, so I really never went to a CVS, and when we had a CVS open near our house, I, I mean, I was there like at least once a week. Their rewards program is freaking fantastic. The only downfall was that when it came to makeup, they didn't have a lot of like new releases quickly there. It, sometimes it would take a while, but even if I just needed like envelopes, um, like shipping mailers, packing tape, like things like that, I would just like run to CVS and I almost always had money off, even just like toothpaste, I don't know, just stuff like that. I would always run to CVS. I miss CVS so badly. This Physicians Formula palette is going to be available there and this palette is really pretty. I don't see a price on this, um, post but physicians formula usually kind of falls like in between of like affordable and high-end like they're not the cheapest drugstore brand but they're not like high-end prices and looking at it kind of the first thing i think of is the huda beauty new nude eyeshadow palette i think maybe some of these shimmers with kind of like how they look like it reminds me of that new nude palette but it looks like it looks really pretty uh this one definitely gave me a double take so you can only get it in stores at cvs and again like i said i'm not really around a cvs a lot i don't know especially with the one that we did have in the des moines area i don't even know when they would get this like do they have it right away i don't know but honestly i think this one is actually really pretty so this is definitely one that gave me the double take um i do think that that one is very beautiful and if you were kind of eyeing that the huda beauty palette i know that one was was it $65? So um, I'm fairly confident that Physician's Formula is not going to be in the $60 range. So just throwing that one out at you and um, letting you know that I'm jealous if you have a CVS in your area. Another drugstore release, Maybelline is coming out with a new foundation. It says this one is going to be available online at Amazon also. This is the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. It says medium, radiant coverage, lightweight foundation, has hyaluronic acid and collagen, moisturizes skin and gives a natural look, uh, delivers up to 12 hours of hydration in 20 different shades, and it's going to be $10.99 each, officially available on November 15th. I think a lot of those claims sound like something that I would really enjoy. I don't think the shade range is the best. Um, 20 shades isn't the most ever, and sometimes it doesn't really matter about the number of shades, but like how the actual range is. And this one, I don't know if I feel like is the best. Brands kind of know, like, especially people online and in the beauty community, like, that's something that is really looking for. It's one of the first things that my eyes go to when looking at a new foundation. Um, so, again, the, the claims do sound really nice. I'm trying not to purchase another foundation until I put up my new ranking foundations video. I think I have either five or six new foundations that I want to rank and give all my reviews on and all of that. So, I want to get that done um, because I just kind of keep going to, like, I keep wearing all of the new foundations that I want be testing out because I want to keep getting like new thoughts and um, I don't know just like new things to say about the foundations but I'm hoping to film that one up pretty soon but again the claims sound really nice to me it's not something that I feel like I need to go run out and grab or anything but um, that's a new foundation from Maybelline and then a new eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics this is part of their Zodiac collection so I didn't see the Libra come out and I was getting messages from people like did BH stop the Zodiac palettes, are they not coming out with a Libra palette? And I was kind of confused about it, but it is available online. It just seems like it really didn't have a lot of promotion around it, which I think for every other palette there really has been. I guess I didn't see much and judging or like based on your comments, like you guys weren't really seeing a lot either. So that's kind of odd, but the Libra is there and it's available on their website, but they are now coming out with the Scorpio palette because we... 
I think we have entered Scorpio season. I think it, I think it is that time. Um, this has, so it's their nine color shadow and highlighter palette. It says a mix of rich browns, cool taupes, and deep crimson, mattes, shimmers, and one baked shadow and a luminous medium gold rose shade. And this is going to be $14. So I'm an Aries, um, but Scorpio, so you'll have to let us know what you think about this palette. I think the palette is like pretty, like shade selection is pretty and everything. I do, I like the highlighter shade, but I know um, that probably wouldn't work for everybody, but I mean, you could use that one as an eyeshadow you could use one of the eyeshadows as highlighters and all of that but i don't know I, a lot of these palettes just didn't really get me very excited i think out of all of them this is one of the ones that i actually kind of do think is pretty there was one other one too but i can't think of it off the top of my head but again like i said i'm also not a scorpio because i had a lot of feelings about the aries one i was not very impressed with that one so scorpios scorpios you will have to let us know how you feel about that eyeshadow palette we knew that milk cosmetics was coming out with their holiday collection i touched on one of the palettes last week there's actually going to be two different palettes in the collection uh, these are both going to be $58. There's a highlighter for $39. There's gel liners for $19 each. There's liquid lipstick sets for $19. Uh, and then there's a br bunch of brushes, uh, a brush set. And you can also purchase the entire collection for $295. So again, like I mentioned with the palette, the palette last week, the one with like the blues and the greens, it's not my color scheme. It's not colors that I would wear a ton, but I think people who really enjoyed those colors would really get on with this palette. I know I mentioned Amy from Amy Love makeup and um you know she wrote in there that she thought the palette was beautiful my friend angelica wrote in and she said that the palette was so beautiful and i can imagine her doing really amazing eye looks with that one but for me not really so much and then the other palette you have some more greens and yellows um some browns in the middle there and some oranges and reds again a very pretty palette but probably um just not really for me uh the packaging looks really beautiful and everything the promo photos look very beautiful but i think that i'll be passing over most of this collection but i think there's probably going to be a lot of reviews floating around on this one so if you're interested in it but you just weren't sure yet i say just hold on because i think that there's probably going to be quite a few people that are very interested in trying out those products and reviewing them um, this just popped up this is from urban decay they're coming out with the party favor moon dust palette okay so it says includes six shades it's going to be 29 dollars and coming soon Hmm. So it looks like maybe like an all shimmer palette coming out from Urban Decay. I actually wouldn't have guessed this was Urban Decay right off the bat. It's pretty. I It doesn't look like anything like really that I feel like I would need in my personal collection. So I'll probably skip over it. Um, but there's a new release from Urban Decay. Uh, also, I thought this was an interesting collaboration. This is between the Sephora collection and Milk Makeup. So Sephora has their own line, like their own branding under Sephora collection. I mean, they have brushes and lashes and lip products. I mean, they have a lot under their collection. Um, I mean, concealers, like they have a lot. But they're doing this collaboration with Milk Makeup. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. It reminds me a little bit maybe of like It Brushes for Ulta, like Ulta and it brushes team up quite a bit, but they're coming out with this limited edition brush set. It's going to be $58 and it has five different brushes in there. And then it also comes with like this uh, clear canister that you can put them in. I do actually really like the Sephora collection brushes. I think like pretty much all of them that I've tried, I think are really nice. I also do really like Milk Makeup. I don't think Milk Makeup has brushes. I don't think that they do. They have a lot of other products. I've tried a lot from them. I like a lot from them. I don't like some of their products, you know, just which is pretty standard. But I don't think that they have brushes. So I think this is kind of an interesting collaboration. I'm looking closely at the brushes because my first thought was kind of like, ooh, because I like brushes. For some reason, brushes are my weakness. Everyone has a weakness. Um, this weekend when we were in Kansas City and we were eating lunch, I made everyone go around the table and talk about our different vices, so what we spend money on. And I, everyone went around the table and talked about like, what is it that you can like really spend your money on? And everybody had a different answer. I think that's fascinating. And I was the one that, that initiated that conversation, but it's just like with these Billy Bite videos, I think it's fascinating what people have different interests in, what they choose to spend their money on, what they choose to spend their time on. I just think it's interesting and going around a table of seven people, everyone had a different answer. I think that's pretty neat. Um, so for whatever reason, brushes are kind of one of my weaknesses. And I think I would be more interested in the set if I was like totally down with all of these brushes, but there's two that I'm not really sure 
that I would use a lot. Like I like the big looking powder one and then we got kind of an angled one that I was thinking could be pretty for blush. I like angled blush brushes. We have this, um, the highlighter one that I think looks really pretty, but then there's these two uh, kind of smaller ones that I'm just like, what would I use those for? And if I'm going to purchase in a set and if the set's going to be $58, I really want to like be excited and want to use all of them. So I'm probably going to be skipping over this one just trying to be smart about it but that one that one did give me a double take not gonna lie then I just had to go through the steps of do I really want this is it worth the money do I need it and all of that kind of thing and I think I was able to uh, end up talking myself out of it another eyeshadow palette that is coming out this is from a violet boss and this is a mini eyeshadow palette this is for our holidays this is the oh snap gingerbread mini it has 10 shades matte uh, creamy foils, magical metallics, and satin sheens. It's going to be $18 and it is limited edition. Um, so, you know, really cute for holiday theme. Um, not super groundbreaking or anything gingerbread for Halloween, but still really cute. Uh, that's, that's fun. The swatches do look really beautiful, especially if some of these like metallic shades, they look really quite stunning. Uh, I don't think I necessarily need this one right now. I did actually purchase um last month i got the hot buttered rum from Too faced and i don't think they're like exact replicas of 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 each other or anything but there are some overlaps in there and i'm still testing out that eyeshadow palette for review and everything um but only 18 dollars that's not a, a terrible price and um i like some of shop um uh, i like some of the violet boss their shop violet boss on instagram that's their instagram handle i really do like their holy grail palette that continues to be a holy grail if you will of mine I, I still use that palette super consistently but I just don't feel like I really need the mini especially right now and then um before we finished off I did want to talk about an exciting collaboration this is with one of my friends I get so excited when I see like my friends and people I know and I communicate with on such a you know a regular basis to see them get to have collaborations it makes me so freaking excited so i have to give a huge congratulations and to my friend mel thompson she just recently did collaboration with christian odette so hopefully i'm saying that correctly and she came out with two lip liners and two lipsticks as a part of the bundle so big congratulations i know her news was actually announced last wednesday she came out with the video and i was getting comments in my video like are you going to talk about mel's release and i actually did know about it beforehand but i didn't know every single detail of it and um even if i wanted to include it i you know i knew that mel obviously was going to be talking about it on wednesday but i didn't know when it's like i'm not gonna take that away from someone so i didn't say anything until i saw that she um had everything up and, and everything like that but uh, I am very excited for my beautiful friend, Mel Thompson. I will link her channel down below. I will have the link um, to her her bundle. I believe that it is still available now. So again, like I said, she came out with two lip liners and two lipsticks. I'll link her um, video where she swatches everything and she talks about everything. So she has more of like a nude um, lipstick and then she has a bright orange lipstick and then there is kind of like a lighter nude lip liner and a darker lip liner also so there's kind of like a mix and match of what you can do for the bundle uh you do have to purchase the bundle i don't believe that these are available separately the bundle is 85 dollars, and you purchase them on the christian odette website i'm actually not super familiar with the brand i know that mel has tried them before and she's talked about um you know their products and their packaging and all of that mel definitely is one of those channels that i recommend to for people who really love like high end or even like luxury products i have um you know a handful of youtube friends that that's kind of like their niche that's what they really like to focus on on their channels so um like mel really knows a lot more about the brand so that's why i, I really would love to direct you to her video of course um and so you can see everything in action she actually let me know i was in new york and i was in the hotel room with a bunch of the other girls and i got a message from her saying I have something exciting coming out and can I get your address but you know keep it a secret and I so badly wanted to be like you guys guess what because I was so excited but I was like oh my gosh you can't like I feel like I am pretty good at keeping a secret okay like if you want a secret kept I really can keep one um so even though I was so excited and I like I wanted to just like say it out loud then I'd be like oh my gosh I was like no okay you will not say anything you cannot say it. even though I knew all the three girls that I was with I knew they wouldn't say anything but I was like no 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 like 
you cannot say anything um so i'm actually she did say the the pr was being sent over to me so i've just been waiting for it like every day i've been so anxiously waiting for it i've been really wanting to film with it and some of my get ready with me is especially trying new makeup and just like share swatches on instagram so i've been waiting anxiously i hope that it comes soon um if for some reason it doesn't come i would purchase it though because i'm just so excited for my friend the nudes look totally me um the only one that i maybe wouldn't wear a ton of is the bright orange lipstick but bright orange is still a very fun color and also um mel has showed in one of her other videos uh how to wear it but have it like be a little bit toned down with like some lip balm and all of that and looked really beautiful on her so I'm really just so excited for my friend. So again, like I said, I'll link her video down below and also uh, the link to the Christian Odette website and I huge congratulations to Mel. That is so very exciting and I'm so proud of you. I do want to finish it up with some more, um, I want to use the word like controversial, but I don't really know if that's really what it needs to be. But I have been getting so many questions of if I'm going to purchase the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collaboration. I've talked a little bit about this on my channel, but um, I, I don't purchase from Jeffree Star right now. I'm someone who, you know, I never say never. I don't know when something will interest me or not. And, um, you know, I do also say that if something does catch my attention from a brand, even if it's one that I'm on a break from at the moment or haven't purchased from yet, um, I still, you know, can definitely give kudos when I think something looks really cool. Um, I think the last one that I talked about from Jeffree Star was the Jawbreaker collection. I thought that looked really neat. I really liked how he had the full size palette and the mini palette right there so you could decide do you want the full size or do you want the mini not like the full size coming out and then you know weeks later the mini coming out because um, as someone who does appreciate mini is like I appreciated both of those launching at the same time and giving the consumers a chance to choose. I think that was really done right and I I you know, applaud at that in my Will I Buy It video. I know that they've been putting out videos about like the beauty industry and all of that. I have a couple of them flagged in my watch later list and I haven't watched any of them yet. And kind of really the only reason that I flagged them is because I feel like it's made like such waves in the beauty community. It's one of those things where I just feel like I'm supposed to know what's going on because of my job being a YouTuber. But when videos like that get posted and I have the decision of, okay, I could watch these videos or I could watch my friends who I want to support and I really relate to and they're talking about their, you know, maybe they're reviewing a new product or they're sharing their empties or they're just doing a chatty get ready with me and I want to catch up with them. That's who I'm going to watch first and I'll flag, I, I flag everything as my watch later just in case I miss something. Still have them on my watch later. I just, I haven't watched them yet. Um, I know a lot of people are so excited for this collaboration. I know a lot of people really love Jeffree Star. I know a lot of people love Shane Dawson. I, I know that he's been around for a very long time uh, and all of that. It's just not not something that personally I feel very drawn to um you know I've been seeing some of the like sneak peeks come out and I know that Shane like is kind of known for like pigs like I was even listening to a podcast the other day and they were talking about like youtubers or celebrities and you were supposed to say the first thing that came to mind when you thought of them and they said Shane Tossin and the girl goes pigs and I was like well I guess that makes sense that's why I'm seeing like pig stuff for the collaboration but it's just not something that really interests me to be honest with you and you know, I've talked before about being a little bit more hesitant to talk about Jeffree Star and the releases on my channel, especially when I'm saying that like, oh, I know I'm not going to purchase them. And even if I can talk good things about um, the brand or about him and like give kudos where I think kudos are deserved, I still get so much hate for it. And it's not even that I get so much hate for it, but it's that my subscribers and viewers who are writing in their comments, they start to get attacked for it. And that's what I hate. That is what I can't stand. And that is what I have zero tolerance for. Um, I don't like it. I don't like seeing it. I don't want it on my channel. It just makes me so frustrated. So that's if you're new to my channel and you've wondered why I don't talk about that kind of stuff a lot. It's not even of trying to protect myself, but I'm trying to protect others because it's heartbreaking for me when I'm going through my comments and I see someone getting just torn apart because of all of that so that's what I'm gonna say there so I'm not planning to purchase anything from the collaboration um, I'm sure a ton of people are I'm sure it's gonna be so highly successful um, you know I'd love to know if you're so excited for it and all of that but for me um, it doesn't really call to me like even just some of the products that I've seen so far there's there's nothing that I've seen that I'm like oh my gosh like 
take everything else aside i really have to have that product i truly have not had that feeling and i can say when i do get that feeling another thing that i wanted to say that i thought i would put in this video is that i've decided not to purchase the tati palette the tati beauty palette uh, i was just slightly on the fence about it you know i do like i still think that it looks interesting i still think it's pretty i like the different rows and all of that i didn't have the price in last week's video when i was talking about it it got announced the day that my video went up um so obviously that video had already been filmed and edited and all of that and um so it's the the 48 dollars and i went back and forth and the night that it released my poor voice is going out the night that it released uh i went to the website and it was still available i was wondering if it would have been sold out it's still available and so i even went on my instagram and i did a poll i was like still debating what do you guys think and it was actually pretty close more people said yes um that they thought i should get it but it was actually a lot closer than i think i expected it to be and more people wrote in messages of saying why they didn't think i should get it or why they in particular were passing over it but it was interesting since i posted that will i buy it video normally my will i buy it's get around 10,000 views in 48 hours usually the will i buy it's over a week can get like 14 15 000 views somewhere around there the last time i checked that video it was just shy of 30 000 views which is a lot for me which on one hand i'm like yeah cool that's exciting that's great on the other hand i've had some of the weirdest comments on that video all regarding tati and i do not say this with disrespect towards tati i do not but i have mostly talked myself out of buying that palette because i knew a part of the reason that i was going to buy that palette was to review it on my channel and i just don't want to take the comments to be honest with you guys i'm not in a great space right now mentally i'm kind of kind of struggling with a few different things uh, i'm feeling a lot of stress right now with my new book coming up i just feel um uh just to be honest i feel like a failure every day because I feel like I have such a huge to-do list and I'm not getting things done. Um, I'm getting frustrated with myself. So I think if I was probably in a better spot, it'd be like, oh, and I should have palette. Like, sure, and if bad comments come in, whatever, delete, block, move on, it's fine. But I know myself and I know through being in social media for 10 years of when I am in a, in a weak spot and when I'm more vulnerable, and that is where I am right now. And so especially just reading some of the most bizarre comments that don't make any sense on last week's video and seeing how popular that video is getting because people are searching out Tati Beauty and that's what the comments are about. I don't think I can handle putting up an eyeshadow palette review right now. So I do apologize for those of you who would like to see me review that palette. But I just don't think mentally I really want to handle it right now. Um... So that's, I guess, what I'll say about that. Over the weekend, I'm filming this on Tuesday, but over the weekend, I had to just like step off social media, step off Twitter, step off YouTube, step off Instagram, and just kind of like hit the reset button. So wanted to give you guys an update there because I did talk about it last week. I was saying that I was interested in getting the price and I'd look at it a little bit closer and all of that, but unfortunately, I just don't think I can do it right now. I know that Tati is coming out with a lot more products and she says she has all these different things in mind, so I'll definitely be looking closer at it um, because maybe she'll come out with a product that I just immediately think, oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to have that and um, like no matter what, I want to get that palette, even if it's just for me to play with, even if it's, you know, not to put up a review uh, and all of that. And, you know, I, I could see from that Will I Buy It video how many people, because you can see in your analytics how people got to your channel. What are they searching? And one of my top searches was Tati Beauty. And that's how people were getting to the Will I Buy It video. And so I think, oh, you know, sure, I could spend $48 and put out a, a video on that palette. And it's probably going to be a pretty successful video and people are going to be coming for it. But uh, that's not what matters to me. You know, the views, the all of that, that does not matter to me. Um, I care about myself more and what I'm going through more than I care about getting views on a YouTube video. So just wanted to let you guys know and give you guys an update there. I'll be very curious to see what else she comes up with. Like I said, I do watch her videos. Um, I was excited to see her coming out with her own brand and I'll definitely be catching what she comes out for next. And hopefully I, you know, 
maybe we'll be interested in it down the line but other than that that is where i'm going to wrap up today's video i know we probably got a little bit long covering those subjects at the end but if you did make it through to the end uh, i appreciate it so much thank you guys for watching thank you for your continued support i really do appreciate it if you notice that i am a little bit more absent on social media for the next while you know a i do have the book release coming up which is taking up a lot of my time but also i just feel like there's so much negativity right now um and it's really starting to affect me so i just need a little bit of a break to be honest but uh other than that i would love to know your thoughts on all the products that we talked about today what are you interested in what are you passing over if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye